Here's a slightly more complicated example of computing a conditional mean given a table showing the joint distribution of two random variables. So in this case, x is years of education, and to keep it simple, we'll just imagine in the population we're interested in, there's only three possible values, 11, 12, and 16. And then y is how many hours per week somebody works. And again, to keep it simple, we'll imagine there are only three possible values of y, 0, 20, and 40. So ultimately, our goal here is to compute the conditional mean of y given x equals 16. So in other words, if we only focus on the subpopulation of individuals with 16 years of education, what is their mean work hours per week? So in order to compute the conditional mean, we'll use the formula where we multiply the values times the probabilities, in this case conditional probabilities. So the first possible value of y is 0. So our first term will be 0 times the conditional probability of 0 for our uh, x equals 16 subpopulation. We can see because it's 0 times something, that term will end up just being 0 regardless of the probability. So we don't need to compute that probability. And then the next possible value of y is 20. So we'll have 20 times the probability that, the conditional probability that y equals 20 given x equals 16, and finally plus 40, which is the last possible value of y, times the conditional probability y is 40 given x equals 16. So we can see now, in order to compute this, we need to know these two conditional probabilities. So in order to compute those, we can use the conditional probability formula. Uh, so first, probability that y equals 20, given x equals 16. And we take the joint probability divided by the marginal for the conditioning event. So from our table, you can see uh, the joint probability is this value here, 0.1, which is from saying both y equals 20 and x equals 16. So that'll be the numerator, 0.1. And then the denominator, we again need to <laughs> compute something else. So to get the marginal probability, you recall we want to sum across that bottom row. So that tells us what portion of the whole population is our subpopulation that we're interested in, this 16 years of education group. So if we sum those together, 0.1 plus 0.1 plus 0.3, we get 0 0.5 or 50%. So that will be our denominator, and if we simplify that, we'll get 
0 0.2. So 0 0.2 says if we, again, are only looking at the x equals 16 group, 20% of those individuals work 20 hours per week, or 1 in 5. And then similarly, for the other conditional probability, we'll use the same formula, and we'll even have the same denominator, but just a different numerator. So here we'll have a different joint probability on top. That same denominator. So for that joint probability, that's what's the probability of having both 16 hours, or sorry, 16 years of education and working 40 hours per week. So that's this bottom right entry in our joint probability table, 0.3. And if we simplify 0.3 over 0.5, we get 0.6 or 60%. So now, finally, we can plug those back into the original conditional mean formula we were working with. So we'll have 20 times 0.2 plus 40 times 0.6. And if we do that out, we should get a 4 plus 24, or 28. Now it's always good when you have really complicated formulas like this to try to at least do a sanity check to see does this seem at least like a plausible number. Uh, so first, sanity check, we can see y is always between 0 and 40. So at minimum, we want a number that's bigger than 0 and less than 40. And 28 does satisfy that. So, you know, if we got a negative number, or if we got 50, uh, we'd know we did something wrong at some point. Uh, we can also see here the y values are sort of spaced out, 0, 20, 40. Um, evenly with 20 in the middle, and in our case, uh, if we just look at the bottom row, y equals 40 has the biggest probability, so we should expect we'll get some, the, the average will be something bigger than 20, but less than 40, and we can see indeed 28 is bigger than 20, uh, but still less than 40. So passes our sanity check, those are always uh, helpful, especially when you have a lot of complicated things going on.